What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be summoning on the Branded King banner which features male and female Morgan and also Horse Krom and a lot of you guys did say that Krom and my mascot do look pretty similar. Well, my mascot has the design based on Hoshida Noble costume but the coloring is pretty similar so let's see if I can actually get him. So we did get four red stones and uh, you definitely want to summon on the red and the blue stones and as you guys know I want Eldigan so um, it's really good that I have to summon on red stone so hopefully I can get Eldigan or Leo. Leo has recently got a refinery so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be getting a banner so I'm gonna try to get him um, when that banner comes out. He's probably gonna be getting a banner with uh, Soren and um, oh my god I'm gonna be getting Morgan on my first Batch? Are you kidding me? This could have been my free summon if I actually selected this red stone. So let's check his IVs. This is actually looking like the Fallen Banner because I did get a Harden on my second summon on that banner as well. And I got a 5 star Morgan right here. So let's check his IV and this is plus attack. Minus speed Morgan. Okay, minus speed definitely hurts but I'm fine with plus attack. So he's able to reach 50 attack with Grima's Trith and uh, he has got Dragon Fang. Now he's not a very defensive unit. Even though he has got his kit, uh, which tries to make him defensive, he's much better as an offensive mage because of his stat spread. And he actually has a better stat spread than uh, Tharja and Katarina in terms of offensive power. So he could definitely run a Blade Tome. And uh, he has got this new skill, Dull Range, which I think um, is pretty situational, but it could have been pretty good if this was a Sacred Seal because Slot B has a lot of competition. So I'm really happy that I got a Focus Enet. So let's see if I can get Krom here. Okay, this is off to a really good start. So I've been getting lucky as of late, um, especially on the Fallen Banner where I summoned Harden. And I'm going to be getting Corrin. Now, a lot of people have been saying that Corrin is going to be the next legendary hero um, as a colorless dragon. Because they did explicitly state that a colorless dragon is going to be coming soon. So Corrin definitely uh, fits that criteria because the next hero, I think, is going to be a water legendary hero, I think. So... He definitely goes well with that water theme, and I just got two Corrin's in a row. It might be male Corrin as a legendary hero, but it could even be female because female Corrin is of course much much more popular than the male version. So I got three blue stones, and um, let's see if I can get the other Morgan. I definitely like female Morgan more because I've obviously used her much more. Morgan is so broken in Awakening, like pretty much all kids. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna be getting the second Morgan! Female Morgan on my second batch! This is so lucky! Wow, okay. Can you also be plus attack just like male Morgan? This is fantastic! I got two Focus Units in like, what, less than two minutes? Oh my god, this is plus attack as well! Plus attack minus defense. This is pretty much the perfect IV spread. This is incredible luck actually. Plus attack IV on both Morgan and this one actually has perfect IV spread. This is fantastic. So she's got Blast Serpent which is a new weapon and it is basically like a guard bow but uh, it is a tome version and it's pretty good for defensive units and she's got Iceberg because she's got very high resistance and she's got this new skill Mirror Stance which is pretty good. Works in the enemy phase. And uh, she's got guard and attack ploy. So female Morgan is the only mage flyer in the game who's in the summoning pool as of right now. All of her are uh, seasonal units. And I'm so happy I actually got her. So she has got a dark flyer. Now dark flyers do have gale force as their skill. But in heroes, range units cannot have gale force. And gale force was so broken in awakening. I was really hoping that they would have Aversa as a Grand Hero Battle because we got these Awakening units and I'm actually gonna be getting a Shiro. What's happening? I'm getting really lucky. Now if this is a plus attack Shiro, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's check your IVs. Um, okay, not plus attack, but this is plus HP minus resistance, which is also a really good IV spread. So he has got defense tactic. I do already have um, a plus defense IV Shiro, I think. Actually, it's plus attack. So, I'm definitely going to be using him for defense tactic. And I can even use him for um, steady stance. If I do ever get another Brave Ike, 
Then I could fodder off my Shiro for Steady Stance 1 and 2, and then inherit Steady Breath and Aether from that Brave Ike, and I'm gonna be getting Lucas. So as you can see, I've been getting really lucky, and I'm really thankful for this. So 2018 has been a pretty good year for me, I guess. The minus attack curse is gone, the minus speed curse is also gone, and uh, I'm getting 5 stars at a pretty good rate. Actually, it's amazing rate. So I'm gonna get Clarine. Um, really hope that her mother can be in the game someday with uh, a bow like green flesh, because I definitely liked Luis a lot as a sniper in Blazing Sword. Rebecca and Will were pretty underwhelming. I did train my Rebecca in my Blazing Sword runs by abusing the arena, if you guys do know about that. But I definitely like Luis a lot more, and if they could release Pent, he would be a top tier unit. They have to make Pent a top tier mage. Like, he's an insane unit in Blazing Sword. So, let's see if I can get Chrom. I already have. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna be getting Chrom! What's up with this? It's like less than 10 minutes, and I've already got three focus units. This is my best summoning session. Now, let's see if you are plus attack as well. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, not plus attack, plus HP, and minus, uh, minus defense. Okay. It's a decent stat spread. At least it's not minus attack. And he's got Aether, Fury, Chill Defense, and Sword Valor. And his Seal Falchion is, of course, pretty insane, giving plus 5 to all of his stats when he's below 100% HP. So I got Chrom pretty early on. All three focus units I've got in this summoning session really early with a few amount of orbs and uh, this is definitely looking like my best summoning session so I'm hoping that I can summon Eldigan um, if my luck keeps up because this is incredible luck I've not got this kind of luck at start of any kind of banner summoning these many like 5 star units and uh, just 50 orbs I think I'm definitely gonna be using female Morgan and uh, Female Morgan can also be a pretty good unit if you do run a Blade Tomb on her if she's plus speed IV because she does lack in speed compared to Summer Karin. So you could definitely do that. And uh, it is rumored that Defense Tactic is gonna be a Sacred Seal in the next Tempest Trial. So that could be pretty good, but uh, it's rumored. So who knows if it's ever gonna be true. But Tactic Skills as... Uh, Oh my god, three green stones on a banner, which has got no green focus units. Where were these green stones when I wanted to summon Grima? <laughs> Crazy stuff like this can happen. When you do not want to summon on a colored stones, they appear so much in abundance. And I'm gonna get a Hanna. Alright, so let's see if I can get a good IV Chrom. Plus HP minus defense is still pretty good. It's not really bad, but still I want to see if I can get another Chrom. And I'm gonna get Shana, so I really wanted Shana because I don't really have too many of her. And I honestly only have like one 3 star Shana left. I desperately needed Shana. So I'm gonna get 3 green stones once again. What's happening? Okay. So like I was saying, I was really hoping that Aversa could be a Grand Tutor Battle unit because Aversa plays really well in Choose Your Legends Pole and uh, she could be a free-to-play Mage Flyer. And uh, Mage Flyers are so good in the Grand Tutor Battle Elite Quest, it doesn't really matter if they have good or bad stats, you just need to have a ranged Flyer for those Flyer Quests and they can be pretty easy for you after that um, because you're easily able to initiate combat and then reposition out of the uh, range of the enemies. So, attacking at range as a flyer unit for those Grand Hero Battle Elite Quests is pretty good. And I don't even want like a legendary weapon on uh, Aversa, like uh, Goisha or Aversa's Knight. They could just give her um, the red version of the Serpent Tome, and I would be fine with that. So, I'm really happy that they have added a Mage Flyer in the permanent summoning pool because. Uh, it's not really good that these very unique units are locked behind seasonal banners. So I hope sometime in future they can also release a range armor unit in the normal summoning pool. Arvis, um, Gen 2 Arvis is definitely a really good candidate for that. 
for being an armored mage. He definitely deserves to be an armored mage. So I'm gonna get a Drog. And uh, Drog is pretty good for ward armor. It has actually been an entire year since I've been trying to get Eld again. And uh, I'm gonna get Hinata. So that's great. So Hinata is also on the Legendary Fodder Manor, so you could try to get him if you want some Fury. And I actually summoned a 5-star Hinata on that banner, and he's like plus speed, minus resistance IV. So I'm gonna be building him up. And they could have honestly released some kind of... Uh, oh my god, another Chrom! Yes! Can you please be plus attack IV? That would be so good. Okay, he is minus attack IV and uh, plus resistance. Okay, that's not very good, but uh, still I've got uh, a plus HP Chrom and minus defense. I think I might merge this one, honestly. I probably will not be foddering him off for chill defense. And I'm going to be getting a Lilina. So what I was saying is that uh, they could have definitely released some kind of Grand Shooter Battle unit with this banner. Wallheart, Aversa are pretty good candidates for that. They could have even done Gangrel if they wanted to, but Wallheart and Aversa I think are better candidates. A lot of people have been saying that uh, it's pretty weird how these Morgan do not have Leaven Sword. At least one of them should have Leaven Sword. We still do not have any kind of Robin with uh, a legendary weapon. So Leaven Sword could be treated as a legendary weapon, honestly. That does adaptive damage similar to Lightning Breath. And I think male and female Robin, the normal versions, definitely deserve um, a legendary weapon because they are pretty iconic characters. And I've got plenty of redstones here. And I'm gonna get Tiki, of course. In one of these summoning sessions, I summoned like 11 or 12 Tikis. It was insane. And in my last summoning session for the Fallen Banner, I think I summoned like 8 or 9 Gunters. So things like that can definitely happen to you. Let's see if I can get a 5 star from this redstone. Um, come on, Eldigan, please get summoned. This is my lucky day today. Come on, man. Please. It is gonna be Laszlo. Okay. Um, two Laszlo's in a summoning session. And uh, we still do not have Owain as uh, an Awakening unit. We do have Odin. And uh, we do have Inigo, but we do not have Owain. And uh, I only got one red stone, which is pretty weird. So you do have better possibilities of pulling a 5-star unit from the red stone because there are two focus units on the red stone. I think I'll summon on the blue stone because I do want Shanna's. So if I do not get a 5-star, it's fine. Um, I would really like Shanna's. So I only have two Shanna's. So oh my god, another Morgan. This is definitely my best summoning session. My previous best summoning session was the Norian Summer Banner. And this one is looking like even better from that. So this is minus speed and uh, plus resistance IV. Okay, minus speed IV is not really that bad for uh, female Morgan because as it is, she is pretty slow at 30 base speed. So 27 speed at minus speed isn't really too bad. And plus resistance is pretty good for proccing attack ploy and you could also run defense plus sacred seal. So I'm glad that I summoned on this blue stone, so I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be doing with that extra female Morgan. I'm going to summon on this one as well. Okay, I'm going to get uh, May. Okay, now I remember why I'm getting lucky on this Awakening banner. I married Anna in my Awakening file. In all of my Awakening files, I married Anna, so that's why she has blessed me with that luck. So it does make sense now why I'm being this lucky on this banner. Okay. I know I should have married Anna in Fates, but uh, she was released too late as a DLC. I already completed the game at that time, and um, it's like much more optimal to marry um, a second gen unit in Fates if you want to have a competitive um, Kana for Wi-Fi battles. 
And, uh... Can I get Eldigan? Like, it's gonna be Celef. Okay. I definitely enjoyed using Celef in that uh, Arvis Grand Tour Battle theme battle. Um, with uh, Julia. I really had a lot of fun making those theme battles because Fire Emblem 4 is uh, one of my favorite games. It definitely deserves a remake. Like, imagine the cutscenes, the music remastered on uh, Nintendo Switch. That would be so good. And the thing is that it will not be too hard for the newer players to get into that game because we do have children mechanic in that game as well, just like Awakening and Fates. But the story is something else. It's pretty sad actually, it's a really dark Fire Emblem game and that's what I like about that because it's different and um, we're gonna be getting Olivia. In my Awakening file, I married Olivia with Lanku. They made a really good couple and uh, Lanku did know Olivia beforehand because she did travel with him. So I definitely think they made a pretty good couple. So I'm gonna get a set and uh, that's pretty good as well because I don't really have too many 4 star sets. So Fortress Defense can definitely be used on units like Azama. And it's pretty decent for budget sets. And we're gonna be getting a Shida. Okay, so I'm not really too sure if I want to summon um, beyond 150 orbs. I want another IV Krom, but uh, I'm just testing my luck at this point, honestly. Okay, this is a pretty good batch. All colors you want on this summoning session. And it's just gonna be Henry. I actually married Henry and Tharja in Awakening because Henry is actually much more powerful than Tharja when it comes to magic. Because canonically, Tharja's curses do not work on Henry. Henry can easily undo her curses, so Henry does have an upper hand over uh, Tharja. And in one of her supports with Henry, Henry removed a curse on her within seconds. And uh, that impressed Tharja a lot. And I'm gonna be getting another Krom. This is my third Krom. Okay, this is plus speed. Plus speed and minus resistance. Okay, this is a fantastic IV Krom actually. Plus speed is pretty good. And uh, after getting the Seal Falchion buff, he will have 36 speed and with Fury he will have 39. And if I give him Horse Emblem buffs then it will go even higher. So really happy about this. He does look a lot like my mascot with his armor, but it does remind me of his cipher art. Okay, this has been absolutely amazing. So I did get a better IV Krom and uh, my luck has been incredible. Like, what can I say? This is like the luckiest I've been in a summoning session, honestly. Pretty good to have. This kind of luck and summoning these many 5 star units, it just makes you so happy. And uh, I'm gonna get Noe. Okay, and uh, and that's my summoning batch. I did get Krom with uh, pretty good IVs, plus speed is pretty good. If you want to use him on a Heart Emblem team. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go with the Redstones and try my luck with Eldigan. It's definitely very strange that I've not got. A Pity Breaker so far. Shiro was not really a Pity Breaker because I did summon um, another 5 star unit in that same batch. So I'm gonna get Shida. I got like 3 or 4 Shida so far in this summoning session. Hopefully one of them can be plus attack IV because I've been searching for a plus attack Shida because I want to upgrade her but I've not been having any kind of luck summoning plus attack Shida. And I'm gonna get a Hana. Alright. And, uh, do I want to summon on the blue stone? I'll actually go with the blue stone to see if I can get another female Morgan. Come on, there's the smoke. And this is gonna be a 4 star Claire. Okay, even if she was 5 star, I would be fine actually. Because Silver Lance is definitely a pretty good weapon that you can use for inheritance. 
And this is gonna be my last batch, actually. 3.25%, okay? So let's see if I can get any kind of 5-star unit on my last batch. I'll actually try to summon on the red, green, and blue stones. And I'm gonna get Laszlo. And... I'll summon on the blue stone. So I've got two female Morgan, three King Krom, and uh, one male Morgan. Krom is definitely the best unit from this manner, and I'm gonna get a Shauna. Alright. So I've got two Shauna so far in this summoning session, which is enough. But I hope that Shauna can be on the Legendary Fodder banner someday. That would be pretty nice, and I really want So to be on that uh, Fodder banner too. And I'm gonna get Athena. Alright. Pretty decent because she has got Woodall Plus and Moonbow. And let's see if I can get anything from this green stone at all. I would like a Barst actually with reposition at the very least. But okay, there's the smoke. This could be a 5 star or a 4 star. And it is gonna be Shershi, of course. Okay. We're gonna be getting her son soon from Tempest Trials. I think Tempest Trial is gonna start in like a week, I think. And we're also going to be getting Krom and Lissa's Bound to Battle. So they could have definitely put a Grand Hero Battle with Walhart or uh, Versa. So I'm going to get Niles as my final summon. And um, Niles can be used for Iceberg. So this has been an incredible summoning session for me. And I got all of the 5 star units I wanted with pretty good IVs actually. And I got 3 Kroms. So I'm really happy today. And uh, I'm definitely going to be featuring Krom in an Arena Showcase. And uh, I hope that you guys also get lucky on your summoning sessions. And you can feel free to share your results of your summoning sessions in the comments. Or even tweet them at me on my Twitter. I'm definitely going to be looking at that. And if you guys enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.